Hello, hello, hello. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. You are listening to Contend for the Faith broadcast. This is your host, Sister Sabrina Evangelist White. I'm just so happy to be here. We are thankful today. You are in for a wonderful experience. We're going to be talking about false teachers. Our text will be found 2424 of Matthew, Matthew 2424. It reads, for there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible, mm, they should deceive the very elect. If it were possible. Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus. We honor you. Yes, we are. Thank you for being in our right mind. Thank you for knowing who you are. Thank you for the word that you put on the inside of us. Lord, I thank you. Thank you for being sober, alert, awake. Thank you for asking the right question, us asking the right question at the right time. Let us not be sleep. Let us be aware of what's going on in our world, in our community, and in our environment. That we might have souls to bring them in. Holy Ghost, only you can give us the wisdom and the knowledge and the persuasion of speech that men will come running to the cross, to the name of Jesus, and go down in Jesus' name for the remission of their sins. Lord, we come against every false lie. We come against anything of deception that is keeping these minds, these souls from you. We come against it in the blood of Jesus. Oh, we thank you for the blood. We come against it right now. We come against that spirit of deception. We come against that in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Holy Ghost, do what you do. Bring them in. In these last days, in Jesus' name, amen. Hello, hello. This is Sabrina. I am so glad to be with you again today. We did read our leading scripture. Um, deception has been a reality in this world since the beginning Um it started in the book of Genesis. As you and I know, God told Adam and Eve to eat of any tree in the garden except the tree of knowledge of good and evil. But because of deception, the servant, the, ser the deception by the servant, they broke his commandment. The trickery that that old servant called the devil, Revelation 12 and 9, continues even to this very hour he is operating this moment this very minute this very second this very day this very hour he is in operation the bible warns us sternly that there will be those that lie in wait to deceive well wh wh why are they white right there in the church they're on the airways they in television, they in Hollywood, they're on your job. It does not matter where they are. The scriptures say they lie in wait to deceive, waiting for an opportunity to deceive the pastor, to deceive the bishop, to deceive the sinner, to deceive the teacher. They are lying in way, waiting for an opportunity as though they was waiting for the bus to go somewhere. They're lying in wait to deceive. Ephesians 4 and 4. Jesus told his disciples in Matthew 24 and 11 that many false prophets shall rise. Many. And deceive many. Some of you will be deceived. And if, if it was possible, oh my God, these would deceive the very elect if it was possible. You have to understand the power of the blood. You have to understand the power of being careful.
helped by God. You have to understand the power of having the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. If it were possible, oh my God, if it was possible, if it was, if it was, if it was. So we see that the Bible sternly warns us and he tells us, hey, there are those that are lying in wait to deceive you. Deception is a very real danger. This is why the utmost important that we would try the spirit. Someone, you got to question the preacher, question the teacher, question these people that saying, uh, providing for you a better way, singing songs, talking about your pain and your tears and telling you to hold on the burden and, and then throwing the word of God in there. They, some are even going to say that they are gods themselves, that they are Christ. Even Jesus says that. So they got to be real. They, 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 you know, they singing and they, yeah, they, they, they just, it's just a dollar to them. It's just a dollar to so many in Hollywood and RB is just a dollar and the Christian label and the Christian in, 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 in evangelize it's, it's just a dollar, another dollar. They're promising you liberty. Liberty that they don't even have themselves. Liberty that they're wrapped up in bondage themselves. Peter said that they promise liberty, but they don't deliver. The liberty that we and I, you and I know, is the, is salvation. For when, when the Son, he that the Son of Man, he that uh, Jesus said that whoever he set free is free indeed. Free from what? Free from sin. That's the only liberty that you should be concerned about. I am free from my sin. The things I did, I don't do no more. That should be your declaration and your allegiance should be to God. Everybody's ran Jesus is king now. It's easy to put it on a shirt, but it has to be a lifestyle. You got to take up your cross and follow him. They are slaves to corruption. First Peter, second Peter two and three evidence of the corruptions attempt to exploit through covetousness, walking according to the flesh of their lust and uncleanness. They despise authority. They hate the church. They speak evil of things they do not understand. They count it pleasure to carouse and uh, around in the daytime. Their eyes is full of adultery. And they cannot cease from sin. You know them. They are talking, cry about Jesus in one second and be cursing in the next sentence or half a sentence. Because they have not been regenerated. They have not been redeemed. All they can do is talk and they can quote scriptures, but they have nothing to give. These are false teachers they will they will bring you into bondage they teach us promises of liberties of to overcome and they themselves have not overcame their latter end is worse than their beginning they've become like dogs returning to their own vomit and jesus had redeemed had brought some of them out in 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 first peter and second peter had brought some out and they returned swallowing wallowing in their mire deception is both detrimental to your soul to your mind to your heart it continues it spreads in your family it spreads over the church it spread decept look what happened in the garden of Eden. it's it is a spreading it is a moving spirit to deceive, to look at yourself and say, I know God made me this way. And he did. Whenever you can look in the mirror and say, I am a woman and you're not, that's a spirit of deception. These false teachers once was true Christians. First, second Peter two and one. These are souls that was once blood ball. Peter talks about them. 
Why? What what is said of Christians at the beginning of the epistles and now they're described as false teachers. Many of them started out, they know somebody who was raised in the church, know something about Christ. I, I imagine if you talk to a lot of these people that's in, 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 in these places, they'll tell you. But they'll say, I want nothing to do with the church. I hate the church. And some are just turned, just totally turned. This is the time that we're living. And I know I'm talking real. I don't sound too proper right now. I know that. It's okay. I'm fine with that. Remember that this knowledge includes just things that, 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 uh, Peter list. He said that it happened to them in the, the, about the proverb. And I already told you about the dog returned to his own vomit. And it, the overall, uh, context of this chapter is about the, how they strayed from God and that's why Jesus hated the Nickelodeons they started out but then they he changed he 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 went back Nicolai in, in the book of Acts he went back and when he went back he spread lies and caused a lot of people to go back and serve Baal to go back into the word and serve other gods and these what these false teachers have, is is doing in a, a, as we speak. <laughs> they're saying them that they're, they're, they're God. They're singing gospel music. There's they're not living. Some of them not even living holy. Some are not even filled with the Holy Ghost. They're chasing the dollar in Hollywood, in RB, all these things. So we have to be very careful. The Bible said if it was so that it was possible, if it were possible. They would deceive the very elect if it was possible. If it was possible. They are rebellious. The turning and turning you away. They want you to fall away from Christ. They want you to commit adultery, have other idols other than a true living God. That's what they want you to do. And they was punished in the Old Testament. They didn't care if it was your full brother, your sister, your daughter, your wife. In Deuteronomy 13, 16, 18, they stoned them because they, you called, they caused them to serve other gods instead of the true and living God. We are in a time where apostasy, uh, false teachers, uh, the rebellion against God is everywhere. Everywhere. You talk to someone long enough, listen to their language. They're trying to discourage you, break you down. But you have to stand strong in God. You have to say, for God I live and for God I die. I will come out from among them. I will be sanctified. I will live godly. The things I used to do, I will not return. I am not going to be deceived. I am not going to fall prey to these idol, adultery and these idol gods that surround me. You can associate and think that it'll be all right because you it might they, they their evilness can easily overcome you. Evil men seducing. They shall wax worse and worse. See, they deceiving and they themselves is being deceived. Second Timothy three thirteen. A quick. You have to understand that deception is a real danger. And Satan wants you, your children, anything you love. He is after your spiritual demise. 2 Corinthians 2 and 11 says, We are not ignorant of his devices. We can't be like a little the kids in school. What did I do? What, what, what happened? No, you can't be ignorant. You have to be a sober. You have to be alert. You have to know that I can't live this way. You can always check them out by the way they live. They'll talk Christ. These are false teachers. They'll talk Christ, but there's no lifestyle nowhere. Because they're drinking, they're lying, they're smoking. They're false teachers. Everybody got a word now. Everybody got a word. The Lord said he's going to do wonders. Signs and wonders. And if you have met someone that's doing signs and wonders, 
Look at their life. What life are they putting out? They talk in faith, but still they're undelivered. The Lord come to set us free. Even if it's a process, God come to set us free. You have to be aware of false teeth. You cannot allow yourself to be deceived. You cannot say, well, I can do this and this is okay. No, you got to come from among them and be ye separate, says the Lord. Touch not the unclean thing. Come from among them. You don't want to be termed of as a false teacher, a false prophet, deceived. These people will deceive and they will be deceived. Jesus said they're going to be doing mighty things. It's going to be, that's not just a light thing for them to do great things and have great things and say great things. But no, they can't live without the Holy Ghost and being baptized in Jesus' name. You've been listening to Continue for the Faith broadcast. This has been your host, Evangelist Sabrina White.